Now, I know that I have my chat, my community, but I also have my board of directors. The board, I hope you guys are doing swell in the top left corner of my screen today. Hope you guys are doing grand. We had a very well meeting with OTV and OTV people. We need more subscribers. This is ridiculous. Anyway, Monday. It's also not Monday, so the market's not open. But we had a very good time with the people in L.A. We talked to the higher ups at Offline TV. I even got to meet the CEO himself, okay. Scara. And I talked to Scara a lot. Yo. Now, as you guys know, we, the OTK people, Whoop. went over there to merge for a video. It was actually pretty fucking good. Chat, I honestly had a pretty fucking good time. I will say, though, I thought their shoots were going to be like two hours, and it was going to be half of them on their phones the entire time. It was five hours of nonstop shit. And I'll just say this for the video. I'm obviously not going to say everything, uh, but... Uh, they made me do the most. <sighs> so I better have like, a, I'm better. I'm hoping I have more screen time than I did with Bella Porsche. I'm hoping I have a little bit more screen time than that. But watch, it's probably gonna be all about like fucking extra Emily and Emmy and then me and Esfin are gonna be in for like three seconds. But that's three seconds that we could talk about. And that's a seven minute video I can make on my channel. I'm not gonna say OTV rigs their videos, but they specifically had me do everything. Yeah. They basically were like, we were playing Fear Pong. And we're going back and forth. And for some reason, I had to do everything. And it's not like I wanted to. I just couldn't make the shots. But it should be pretty good. The video is going to be, I, I have done a lot. And honestly, I was surprised at how much shit they made me do. I thought it was going to be like offline TV land stuff where it's like, oh, I'm gonna, they're going to pinch me. And then I have to like cry. But they kind of made us do a lot I of shit. Love you, my Keith, my best friend. It should be pretty good. I'm excited for it. Um, what else happened while I was there? We, so let's say we landed. No, it wasn't really much of a weekend. We landed, uh, I think after we landed, I hung out with Kaide and her sister. And we just fucking hung out, really. We didn't really do much. We talked a lot, though. I really fuck with Kaede, though. Like, I'm telling you, chat, she's definitely in my top eight on fucking MySpace. Like, I really <clears throat> fuck with Kaede. She's like my homie for life. Uh, I'll go with Kaede. D uh, didn't really do much. We just fucking hung out in her Tesla. Like, why do you have a Tesla? And that was it. Next day, we did the shoot. Uh, me and Emmy walked around for a little bit before the shoot. Uh, extra Emily did get fucking hurt pretty badly. I didn't even see the clip for it. But extra Emily, she, oh God, this is gross. Do I want to show this? This is worse than my back name. Oh, fuck. So yeah, extra Emily shows up to the shoot, by the way. This is why, I, like, she, she's like kind of stupid sometimes. Extra Emily shows up to the shoot and she's doing the whole thing, right? And I'm looking at her and I'm like, why, why haven't you gone to the doctor? You have to get, I told her, I said, you have to get stitches. And she said, no, I don't. I said, you're Smart. gonna have to get stitches. I promise you, you have to get stitches. And after the shoot, this is 12 hours afterwards, because the shoot was five hours long. After the shoot, 12 hours later, after she did it, her chin is still bleeding. So I'm like, bitch, you have to go to the hospital. So I took her, it was me, Emmy, S fan and uh, extra Emily, we all went to the hospital and we were like, all right, let's take you to the hospital. The first hospital we go to, it's so stupid. We walk in and this is what happens. There's a guy sitting there in this chair. This is NA hospitals, by the way. It is so fucking stupid. We walk into the hospital and this is the room to walk in, right? There's a guy sitting there who's security. He's the fattest fuck you can ever imagine, right? He's just sitting there. And he said, all right, put your stuff on this table and then walk through the metal detector so you can go to the hospital. So we put our stuff on the table to then walk through the metal detector. And then when we walk through, we're like, okay, can we go grab our stuff? Yup. What was the fucking point of any of that? It made no sense. I mean, I'm like, you could have brought a fucking Glock. I could have brought a Glock, walked it right into the hospital. Didn't matter. Guy wasn't paying attention. 
I go into the LA hospitals chat. I don't know if I'm just used to like Texas hospitals or something, or just a like, bunch of like old people and rednecks. We go inside there. It is filled. And by filled, I mean there's eight people there in this small ass room. They're all homeless schizos. All of them are homeless schizos. There wasn't one person there that was normal. They were all tweaking on something, saying some weird shit, coughing all over the place. I'm like, get me the fuck out of here. I I hated it. Uh, and then extra Emily's like, oh hi, can I like can I like, sign up? She's like, yeah, okay, that's fine. How long's the wait? There's eight people in front of us. How long's the wait? You're looking at about three to four hours. So uh, we left. We went to a hospital down the street. We get to the hospital, and first of all, this hospital's actually not that bad. It was kind of nice. And I, I'm holding S Fan's camera for him, right? So I'm holding S Fan's camera, and we go inside, we plop down. I'm like, S Fan, your camera's right here. Because I know he always forgets. This is a classic. S Fan goes inside the hospital, we sit down for like three seconds. S Fan goes, Frick, I left my phone in the Uber. <laughs> Like three, three minutes in. Oh, I left my phone in the Uber. And guess who called the Uber? S Fan. So then S Fan has to grab my today, phone. Lizzie. Thank you, bro. S Fan has to grab my phone. And then, because uh, I, I have his location on. I'm like, S Fan, your phone's like three minutes down the street. Runs out of the fucking hospital immediately with my phone. I have no idea where this guy goes. He apparently ran half a mile down the street to chase this guy down. And they couldn't catch him. So then, S-Fan takes the liberty to go on my lift and just call somebody, and then the guy comes to his place, and the guy, S-Fan goes, yo, can we follow this guy? So, two lifts later, because one guy didn't want to do it, S-Fan gets a guy that's willing to follow him, and um, S-Fan follows the guy all the way to get his phone. The guy actually found the phone in the back and actually called me. So, S-Fan got his phone back. Then S-Fan and I meet up at an IHA. And we're all meeting up together, right? We're all hanging out. Esfin went back to the hospital to grab his stuff and then meets us at this IHOP. So now we're all at an IHOP chilling. And right when we're about to leave, Esfin goes, Hey, where's my camera? <laughs> so Esfin had to go back to the hospital to then get his camera, which he thought I stole, I took. And I'm like, Esfin, no, I did not do that. He found his camera. Everything was perfectly fine. Other than that, classic fake story. Not much happened. I mean, Chad, I was gone for two fucking you. days. It was not a long time, but I had fun with Kaide for like thirty minutes. That was pretty cool. Uh, the OTV shoot was pretty good. Uh, I met Disguised Toast. That was fucking sick. What else did I do? Uh, I saw Skara kiss Masayoshi or something like that. Fake I forget. story. I drank a lot. It was a really good time. I had fun. I met some, like, really good Sentinel players, I think they were. I don't even know. They were all bragging about who's the best, uh, who's the best Valorant player. Mice Keith Hypers, Mice Keith Hypers. That was basically it. Real. The good news is, though, yeah. chat, I did ask OTV. I said, hey, do you think we'll be invited back? As I'm, like, panting, because I did, like, I, I tried to do really well in this, uh, video. And Broden... Mice Keith, hey. Said maybe. Five years yo. My Skyfall. Now here's the thing. I think that guy probably thought Aspen was gonna show up. Stalling. Why are you guys all subscribing for me stalling? Hello? Yo, we're almost at ten thousand subs! Yo yo. I'm gonna tweet this if we hit 10k, chat. This is something I never thought would be possible, bro. Thank you, guys. Yo. Oh, okay. All right. Update on the camping stream. It is getting work done, okay? I'm finding a place. I'm getting it done. The camping stream should be done by the end of October. For the love of God, I'm getting it done, okay? It's gonna be 24 hours. It's me and E-Rob. I'm already working on it. <sighs> Stop, please, okay? It's actually happening this time. I'm working on it, all right? And then I'm retiring after that. I'm retiring and I'll start streaming three days later, but I'm we're working on it. All right. No. I'm not doing an RV trip. You can eat my ass. I'm not doing that. I will never do an RV trip ever again. Make it clap PLS. Bitch, make it clap. 